Hot FM. Hot FM proudly supports the Benidorm enthusiasts and your favorite YouTube channel, Benidorm Stuff. Hi guys, the Benidorm enthusiast here with Benidorm Stuff YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day today. We're down here on the Ponienti beachfront. Lots of people out and about enjoying the sunshine. So I'm gonna get my skates on and take you for a little look down the Ponienti promenade. We're starting at the Rosalina Cafe and this is on the corner of the Avenida Jaime Primero where it meets the Ponienti beachfront. We did a little video tour of the Jaime Primero in our last video. You might want to check back and have a look at that. Amazing weather today, perfect for skating. Let's go. This side of Benidorm is definitely the most underappreciated by the British tourists. I cannot believe how many people come to Benidorm and never make it down to the side of Ponienti. It's got a completely different feel to the Levante side, much more relaxed, laid back and chilled out. Definitely worth a visit. It's a much more international feel to this side of Benidorm. Ponienti is three kilometers long. And there are bars and cafes all the way down. The Spanish tourists absolutely love this side of Benidorm, along with other Europeans, lots of people from the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Italy, Portugal. They absolutely adore the Ponienti. But not many Brits visit here. You're missing out. The Ponienti Promenade itself was remodelled just over 10 years ago now. It was a massive project which cost around 20 million euros and was completed in 2009. The architect's idea was a cliffs and waves design to provide the perfect transition between the city and the beach. It's great to take a stroll down here, a run or even a skate and there are loads of bars and cafes along the way for a pit stop. It's a beautiful day for it today, around 17 degrees really can't complain at that for the end of January and it's definitely brought some people out on the beach itself soaking up the sunshine and others are just happy to take a leisurely stroll. You can walk the whole length of Ponienti from one end to the other in around 45 minutes. I'm 
de jardín. One of the main hotels in this area is this one behind me, Poseidon Player. Currently undergoing a refurbishment from top to bottom. This will be a big improvement and a great asset to this area. Do you remember the Galaxy Hung Yi exhibition that was in the old town for the most of the last year? Well, they seem to have forgotten about one of the statues. The swans behind me are going to be a permanent fixture now on Ponyente Beach. I do really feel like the British are missing out by not using this side of Benidorm so much. You get those people who write off Benidorm before they've even been here. Maybe because they think it's too British, too rowdy or too lively. If you're one of those people, you should try Ponyente side. It's definitely none of those things. converting the anti-Benidorm people is getting them here for the first time. Once they come here once it's very difficult not to fall in love with some part of Benidorm and once you've been here once it's most likely you will return time and time again. the end of the coloured promenade part of Ponyente Beach now. The beachfront does continue for around another kilometre. That's the area known as La Cala Benidorm and we'll be showing you that in another video coming very soon. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video having a look at the Ponyente side of Benidorm, a very underrated area in my opinion. Leave us a comment, let us know what you thought. How many of you have been to Ponyente or how many of you will be giving it a try on your next visit to Benidorm? Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos and click on that bell so you get notified when we have a new video coming out. Also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at The Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.